Okay, in uh, this video, I'm going to be talking about my Blue Hoodoo uh, anneal balls. And here's my jar of them. I have more, I bet they're already uh, packaged to, uh, for when I sell them. Let me get you up close. Which one? Yeah, um... I found these, I didn't realize they exist in Sorry to Sorry, Getting to Hoodoo. Um, but they're pretty interesting little things. I know there's a, originally you're supposed to be using, uh, they use bluestone to dye things on also um, for the different properties I'm going to talk about. But it's really unsafe to work with. It's really unsafe to work with because it's uh, copper sulfate. So I know that the people who used to collect it collected by hand and then it caused some issues. But um, the I need to, what is it? What are these made out of? I think it's made out of like the base is borax or something. I need to look it up. I'll, I'll probably stop this video and or research it just so I don't have to add it on later. Um, but you can add them to your wash. They will help whiten your clothes. And I did an experiment in my because I was uh, when I was trying to make my blue hoodoo floor wash, and I added it to a base. I have to stop for a moment. Okay, sorry about it. I keep stopping. Um, my room is where everybody checks their home, but women in this house. So uh, if it's not Alex who's sleeping right now, she's my baby sister. You see her name behind me, um, or my mother, then you know, somebody or Paige is home. That's my eight-year-old sister, but she's off at college in Iowa. So where was I? Okay, Mexican blue. Uh, you can call them Mexican meal balls, um, blueing balls. And yes, I get a lot of jokes about them. Um, I wasn't experimenting with them, I was trying to tie all my different floor washes have different bases depending on what they're used for. Sometimes I use a base of vinegar that I will um, soak herbs in, fresh herbs in beforehand. And then I use essential oils to try and mask the scent, but it depends on what I'm working it for. So with this one, I was trying to figure out what I should use, and so I put some in water and put some in vinegar also just to, to test it how it affects it before I um, decide what base to use also. because it, I wasn't sure if I could use it, correspond it magically or not. Um, <laughs> fizzed so much. It was pretty awesome though. It was like this boiling vat of um, blue bubbles sort of thing. But um, I eventually found a way to uh, to make a good floor wash out of it. And uh, the blue is supposedly connected to uh, the evil. Have you seen? I don't know the the picture of the evil. It's blue and white and has like a black center. It's supposed to um, drive away evil. Uh, some people think that the reason that the that these drive away evil because they're connected to the evil eye, I guess in like Mediterranean cultures or something. Um, it's also good to use the bluing balls in um, little mojo bags for gambling. And um, they're good for really a multitude of things. Luck, success, love, uh, protection, driving away evil spirits, and it can, it's, well, it's supposed to draw love to you. And then uh, peaceful dreams as well, supposedly. So it's really interesting. Um, I usually put mine in, in like a little baggie, uh, a little cloth bag with other herbs and resins and whatnot, and little doodads when I'm trying to um, use them for something. Or I'll use the floor wash. Even though it doesn't smell good, it's really effective. Not everything smells like roses. Okay, if you want something to work, you can't always expect it to smell good. And I know that you can, uh, some people still sell the blue. Uh, the bluing chips, the copper sulfate. It's really unsafe to work with, but if you want to be really traditional, then you should get those. I know Conjure Cordea sells them sometimes when she can, when she has them. And um, I think she sells some other types of bluing as well. Um, there's also the Reckitt's uh, Crown Blue. They're little um, bluing squares. I like the bluing balls just because I feel like it's drawing more things to me. It's a circle to sphere. It makes me think of the earth in some respects. Um, you can bathe in it. You can add the, the floor wash to your bath or add one of the balls to your bath, but it doesn't smell good. But um, it's effective. If you want to be effective, you got to do what you have to do. And I know there's different uh, spells and stuff associated with the bluing balls, but that is uh, the end of my little introduction on my blue hoodoo any of the balls. And I love playing with them. I just want to play with them like they're marbles. And they don't smell bad at all when, um, when they're dry. So, um, yeah, they're pretty cool little things, and they don't really stain my fingers or anything. 
Now I know you can find these other places online as well. They're not, they're, uh, they're pretty common. I guess after I started looking for them, I found them everywhere. So, um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching another one of my uh, mini informational videos. If you have any questions or if you'd like to me to talk about something, just let me know.